So for today, we are trying to figure out a battery box. So for the last, I don't know how many videos, we've been using this to get it in and out to work on it. So now we're trying to figure out how do we put a battery box in here that is removable. Keywords, it needs to be removable. We really don't want to get this all hooked up together and then not be able to take the battery out or the battery box out to get the front clip off or suspension work. This is a bad battery. Um, we're just using it for mock-up. The good batteries at home, we kind of want to fit this um, with a large battery. You want to get as big as a battery as you can that's accessible. So you're measuring it all out for the biggest battery you have optional. Now, if you don't have room, you can go whatever direction you want with this. But for us, we have plenty of room here, so we're gonna actually even make the battery box that this is gonna sit in even larger than this battery, so that way we have the extra space if we ever needed to go for the larger battery. We don't really need to, but I like to have the ability to. So first issue is we have this bracket right here for the uh, inner fenders from the old truck that is in the way of where I would like to put the new battery box. We're actually gonna have to cut more off of this. It's kind of crazy how much you gotta remove, but right now we're running into an issue with leveling it out and trying to measure off these isn't really leveling it out that well. So we're gonna end up cutting this down even more and then probably end up plating it off. Uh, another thing that we're gonna have to face is redoing our ground cable and probably our positive cables to reach the new position of the battery. All right, so this is part of the bracket. I will get it all welded up to show you exactly how this is going to go on the car and we'll get back with you. So there's our beginning of the battery box bracket. I uh, used this cheap, cheapo tape measure to do pretty much everything. It has a level. We used it for our 90 degrees on both corners and then we also used it to level it out. So our battery bracket is level as of the weight on the car right now. We're going to try and figure out our the measurements for how big of the battery box we're gonna have. So the top of it right here is about 10 and a half, if we slide it over, it's about 10 and a half. So we're actually probably gonna go a full 11 inches. We will measure our steering, see where the tire goes, and we'll see if we have clearance for different rims and tires if we ever need to go up. So we have a bracket plumbed up, ready to check out. There's a chance we might have to move it forward so it's not fully welded in. I really do like the setup on it though. We have just a little bit of space on each side of the battery. Kind of sits in tight. We can slide this in farther if we knew to, but we also have a little extra on the end. Now all that's left is to gusset it, uh, figure out the spacing with the front clip on and where our tire is going to move. We want to have a lot of room between our tire for travel while turning, that kind of thing. If we ever want to lower this in the future, that kind of stuff. Like I said, I think it needs to go forward more, but we do have this bracket over here we would have to chop up and get rid of to be able to go forward more. All right, so the battery box is fabricated. There's a few more things we got to do. We got to make some bracket tabs so we can bolt it in. And then uh, we got to let this cool down then we gotta test fit everything up, make sure the position is good. We, uh, for the end here, I didn't really need all that su much support. So what I did is I, the piece of flat sheet of metal that we did, we just broke the ends on either side, turned it up there, turned it up here, and then welded the ends in. So that kind of creates our angle iron support kind of thing on the end here. So we still have our, a good support to keep the battery in place. Got the battery in with the front clip on so we can test our space. We are closer to the tire than I would like to, to be, so we're gonna actually move it forward a little bit farther. Um, it's pretty awesome though. I mean, you can see we're sitting almost flush with the front end, so when you wanna change your battery, you just pop the hood and take it right out. I imagine that's probably about how the factory one on the truck was. I wouldn't know because it was essentially never there so also I don't think I'll have to make it bolt in so I'll probably actually weld it up for now because it really doesn't interfere with anything on the car so uh, later on that might change I don't know how I'm gonna do it all yet but we need to move it forward for now
cut our bracket off. Here's our bracket in all of its glory, you know. It, uh, it's got some dirt on it. It will need to be painted at some point. So we'll have to figure out what color is black, really. But uh, there are a few spots we can weld up while it's off to uh, finish off the look of it a little better. So it's not as janky looking. So we're going to go ahead and do that, finish off the welds on it, and then we'll bolt it back up. tire space now we can move it up and down get a little more movement out of it sitting in a really good spot for accessibility wise and it's far enough away from everything that we're not gonna like short and burn the whole car down so all right so we've got it all hooked up now we also mounted the fuse box you can see it's right here we made it so you can bolt it in right there off the angle iron coming off the same battery box and all you have to do is pop the lid and there's your fuses so when you come up to the truck you can access them quite easily so then close that up it's at a good spot for accessibility it does not get in the way of the tire and uh, all of our cables was pretty simple. We did have to make this one because the fuse box originally was almost up against the battery. So, one cable there. We redid some ends to actually shorten some. But other than that, we are pretty well set up. All right, so another problem we were having with this car is the shifter. The uh, GM column we put into it uh, does not have a way to hook up the shifter. So that is another problem we have to sort out. At first I was like, man, I'm gonna have to custom make a bracket, blah, 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 and it's gonna be a pain in the neck. We're actually gonna end up using the stock shifter cable, which will help us in one part. And then what do we have here? A mild steel bracket for our shifter cable. So it will or attach right into this clip and then hook up to our column. Obviously, since this is mild steel, we can actually weld it onto something. So we can take that bracket and make an attachment in, outside here on the firewall end and make a shifter bracket that will go right there, connect our shifter up so now we have the ability to shift through our gears from the GM column. I've already got this bolted in. It might need to move. We might have to take these out and move this position around a couple times. But we're gonna go ahead and pull the cable out of the firewall and see how it lines up. All right, after some trial and error, we found the best spot for the shifter cable. It was kind of tricky at first. You can see the tack weld down there. I had it kind of pointed up. But it started touching the exhaust and was having all kinds of issues. Here's the bracket, it's almost unmodified, and all I did was tack weld it to the firewall for now. Uh, go ahead and cycle it through. So we have all of our functioning positions. So now I just gotta go test drive it and see if it actually functions. Fishing up for the day. We've got the battery in. Sit nicely, good gap around it for accessibility. Our fuse box is mounted. Got our shifter cable hooked up to our column. And it works through the deal. I don't like the geometry that's going on with this. So, first of all, they have the piece all the way over in park like maxed 
Then when you put it in reverse, that's reverse, not in reverse. Neutral, somewhat, drive finally lines up. So I think we're gonna have to play with it a little longer to get a good idea of where they go. But like I said, I, I lined this up in park first and then went through all the motions and it did this. So we'll have to see how it goes. All right, so we're leaving off with Keon start. Reverse, neutral, and drive. We have everything we need. It's just not lined up how I would like it to be. So we'll have to play with that at some point. Like I said, but we finally figured out our uh, PCM communication issues. I thought it was all the wires we cut under here, but I was pretty sure I didn't cut anything that important. It ended up being a faulty ground wire that had uh, corrosion in it and was every time it wiggled around it would lose communication and then all of my instrument cluster and I would lose like I said lose communication with everything but my airbag module and then I'd lose communication with my or my cluster would whack out real funny I'd lose my speedometer RPM which I really wanted still so it's cool that we got that figured out and it still works everything still functions uh, it still needs some changing. Like I said, I would like to lower the column back down after you know sitting in it. You got plenty of room, and this is full full tilt down, so it needs to be lower for the short people.